So today I will be reviewing Basketball Wives Season 6, Episode 2. So this episode was a clear example of it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So let's talk about it. I learned at an early, early age, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. I remember the... Like yesterday, I was seven years old, and my mom asked me, did I have any homework? I had no intention to do my homework. I just wasn't in the mood. And I was like, what difference do it make? Child, I got the beating of a lifestyle. I still limp to this day. To this day, I still limp. You best believe I learned real quick. So the next time she asked me, do you have any homework? I was like, I don't remember. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. It's not a drawn out process. All you have to do is know what you're talking about and pick your words carefully. I mean, especially if you're talking to somebody that's on the edge, because I'm sure Hillary Clinton didn't go up to Putin and be like, did you steal the election? Child, please. Mm -mm. No, it don't work that way. Jackie, all you had to do was know what you were talking about and pick your words carefully. That's it. But you messed up right away from not even knowing what the hell you was talking about. So last week, Tammy says to you that Evelyn posted something on your daughter's blog. Okay, fine. She sent you the link. She sent you the link. All you had to hit was link. You could have read the damn thing yourself before you went up busting up in the joint like Darth Vader, not knowing what the hell you was talking about. Child, this ain't gonna go good for you. Okay, so... Evelyn met up with Jackie at some dog rescue center or whatever. And like a bat out of hell, the first thing Jackie says to her is, Tammy said you posted something on my daughter's account. Now even Evelyn was like, well, what did I say? It made no sense. I mean, you just gonna go busting up in there Talking about now some shit you don't even know about. Straight up at war with the Vladimir Putin of basketball wives. Everybody knows Tammy Roman is the damn Putin of basketball wives. Child, you done got yourself in some shit that you Next, can't let's get talk out about of. Shawnee O'Neal. Now, Shawnee O'Neal has been getting heat since the day she put basketball wives on the air. It started with. Shaq protesting before the even episode was watched. Then people talk about it's a bad look for black women. Ba Just from day one, she's been under heat for basketball wives, which I wouldn't give a damn what people thought as long as them damn ratings was up. But you know, she finally came to the pressure. So what she's trying to do this year is try to balance ratchetness with a little happy dose of everyday life. I get it. You caved in. You caved in. So in her quest to balance ratchetness with a little friendliness, she brings on this poor little soul. Her name is uh, Bonnie Jill. Child. <laughs> what? This is all. Shawnee, what the hell you think? Okay, so Bonnie Jill is dating an ex uh, pro basketball player. She likes dogs and apple pie and warm walks in the park. <laughs> she brought on this little, little soft, I don't, you know, uh, you know the type, just the little friendly little girl who just, you know, all I want to do is walk my doggies, and she loves her dogs. They're her children. You, you, you know the type. Like, bitches that love warm, sunny days cannot sustain the wrath of Tammy Roman and Evelyn Lozada. Shine, this ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work. You have put this girl's life in danger. And well, did you see what was going on when Jackie and Evelyn was going at it? She was standing in the back, shaking, holding her little doggy. Child, tear, uh, Shawnee, mm -mm, sh sh Shawnee, y'all be ashamed of yourself. But you know, when um, little uh, 
Bonnie Jill when her life is in danger. Tim, you should feel, I mean, uh, Shawnee, you should feel real damn guilty. I don't know what you was trying, I know what you was trying to do. But this so now we have another work. new girl. Her name is Elena. She too is very much like Bonnie Jill. She likes warm walks in the park. I could tell. Now she didn't say she liked warm walks in the park, but her behavior was warm walks in the park, parkish. <laughs> She is dumb as hell. <laughs> okay, so her Elena meets up with Kiana, who was introduced last week. Remember, she is the former ex of um, Nick Young. That's his name. Okay, so and she must have watched the previous seasons of Basketball Wise. And she knows that all of this shit between Evelyn and Tammy got started because Tammy did not tell I mean, uh, Evelyn didn't tell Tammy right away that she used to date her ex. Okay, so this little poor little soul seen these episodes and misread the whole damn thing. So she figures, I'm going to come in and right away, I'm going to let Kiana know that I was with her ex. But child, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So this dumbass, and I, you know, I mean dumbass in a real loving way. Elena, I'm not going for you, but I'm only calling you a, a dumbass because of the approach, okay? So this, so I mean dumbass in a loving way. So this dumbass has dinner, uh, lunch with Kiana, and she said, you know, I just want you to know that I used to text Nick. <laughs> woman won't read into that. I used to text Nick, child, you about to get your ass kicked. Like, please, you're about to make a permanent enemy. Number one, why did you feel the need to say anything at all? Number two is, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. You got to take things in doses. You could be like, oh yeah, I know Nick. That's a lot different than I used to text the motherfucker. I used to text Nick. It's dumb as hell. If somebody told me that they used to text my ex, translation, we hook, used to hook up, text, Gosh, she over there sitting on, um, at that table, knees are trembling, trying to get her words out because right away Keanu was like, you text? Child, did you sleep with him? Then here she go, well, uh, not so much, a little bit, I can't remember. You brought all this on yourself. So Ch Shawnee's quest to even out ratchetness with friendliness is putting the new poor little helpless souls that love puppy dogs in danger. Ohio. Tammy Roman does not like two faces motherfuckers. She just don't, she don't, she don't play. She makes her friends pick a side. Like you can't be in the middle. I can't be like, I like Tammy and I like Evan. Mm -mm, no, no, she don't play that. So I am forced to pick a side and I got to go with the Roman Empire because Tammy don't play. Now I used to like you, Tammy, I, uh, Evelyn, but you know, I don't wanna be like uh, Bonnie Jill. <laughs> I, got to pick, I got to pick a side. I don't wanna be trembling in the background, undecisive. So I like the Roman Empire. So <clears throat> next, this uh, scene, we got the Roman Empire at the damn table with Shawnee O'Neal and poor little puppy loving <laughs> Bonnie Jim. <laughs> this is some mess. This is some mess, okay? So, everybody knows Tammy is crazy as hell. She don't play. She do not play. I mean, I could easily see it, Tammy catch a case. <laughs> And going to jail if you meet her in the wrong situation. I am scared of Tammy's ass. I love her. She's funny and she is on the edge, shot on the edge. So poor little puppy loving Bonnie Jill is uh, meeting uh, Tammy and she brings up how she loves puppies. <laughs> and Tammy's like, you love puppies? <laughs> Tammy Roman I can never imagine her one damn day in her life 
talking about puppy dogs and apple pie. <laughs> These two do not mix. So poor little trembling ass Bonnie Jill probably was uncomfortable, sat there and was like, when she brought up the puppy dog <laughs> and how much she loved puppy dogs and everybody was staring at her like, <laughs> She decides, okay, these women aren't into puppy dogs. Let me talk about something else. Well, you know, the other day, Evelyn and uh, Jackie were, was at my little dog shelter or whatever the hell it was, and they got into it. So she proceeds to tell her, Tammy, Roman, I would call it, AKA Roman Empire. Puppy dog uh, proceeds to tell Roman Empire. I love the name Roman Empire because, you know, she wrote, she's, she's over her Roman Empire. So she proceeds to tell Tammy that this conversation took place and I swear to God, it took about 0.2 seconds for Tammy to catch away. She was like, wait a minute. So you telling me Jackie was over there being two-faced and puppy dog loving Bonnie Jill <laughs> was like, well, yeah, uh-huh. And, you know, because your puppy dog loving attitude is not going to work on basketball wise. You should just quit now. I mean, child, please. So Tammy does what she does. She flew into a rage because she was like, what the hell? You want to talk like that in front of me? Pa -pa 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 -pa. Puppy dog loving um, Bonnie Jill didn't say one word. She just sat there like, Mm -hmm. Wish that she had her little puppy dog in her arms so she could stroke her. Because that's what she do when she gets nervous. She strokes her puppies. But also it meant that the next time Tammy sees Jackie, the pop-off going to pop off. And all I can hope is that uh, puppy dog loving Bonnie Jill and Elena is nowhere around. Because I don't think they're going to be able to handle the pop-off. And when the pops up, when the pop off pop off, you are always obligated to take a side. You can't play neutral, Jackie. So, child, we gonna see how this good. I'm loving this. I am loving this season. I feel sorry for puppy dog loving Bonnie Jill and Elena, but you know this shit is right up my alley. I'm loving it. So I'm gonna be there next week when the Roman Empire comes face to face with Jackie. I can't pick a side, Christy. <laughs>